Hi, I'm Scott Abbott. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bodybuilding sandwich that consists of ingredients that are not typically considered as bodybuilding or fitness sandwich ingredients simply because a lot of people shy away from peanut butter as a main ingredient in anything because of its high fat content. But that's a shame. When you consider that Clarence Bass a famous bodybuilder from the past who regularly carried 4% body fat. He was ripped. In fact, he wrote a couple of books called Ripped. He was a regular consumer of peanut butter. He ate it almost every day, typically every other day. And of course, the key word here is moderation. It is calorie dense, so you have to eat it in moderation and that's what I'm going to show you here how to combine it with some whey protein in such a way that you end up with the famous chocolate peanut butter combination remember Reese's peanut butter cups you had the commercials someone's walking down the street with a chocolate candy bar and the other direction a person's walking down the street with a jar of peanut butter, eating out of the jar of peanut butter, which is not your everyday behavior, but that, that was the commercials. They bump into each other and voila, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, terrific combination. We're going to do something like that right now for a powerful bodybuilding sandwich. Okay, so what we have here is old-fashioned peanut butter. You want to stay away from the sugary peanut butters. We're not wanting to add any sugar to this sandwich. So I've got Laura Scudder's Old Fashioned Peanut Butter, no sugar added, and I'm going to start out just making a peanut butter sandwich here with Russian rye bread by Aura Wheat. This is 70 calories per slice, and it's good stuff. I also put it on dill rye sometimes, so you can use that or any type of rye bread that you like or any type of bread you like for that matter, but I think rye is a great bodybuilding bread. And so we're looking for two tablespoons of the peanut butter. So let's go ahead and get that on there. And we're gonna go for a couple of level tablespoons. Okay, so we've got the peanut butter on the bread, and the whey protein I'm going to use is just a basic whey protein I picked up from CVS Pharmacy. I've added enough, just enough water that it's about at the consistency that the peanut butter was, and mixed it up really well. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the sandwich, and you could possibly blend this up in a blender beforehand. I've never tried that. There you go. So there we have it. Our peanut butter chocolate whey protein on rye sandwich. It's a little bit chewy. However, those of you who are not lactose intolerant can chase this down with a big cold glass of milk. You're going to love that. I prefer chasing it with a hot black cup of coffee uh, breaks up the peanut butter and chocolate and also the combination of coffee and chocolate flavor you know you can't beat that so this breaks down to about 460 calories it's a 30 30 40 split among protein carbohydrate and fat you got 30 percent protein 30 percent carbohydrate and 40 percent dietary fat i would not eat this sandwich before sitting in front of the computer for three hours. Probably something I would only eat prior to going to the gym and working out or engaging in other calorie burning activity outdoors. Uh, that would be my recommendation. But you will enjoy this if you try it and I highly recommend it.